Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So as you can see by the title, I will be doing a full face of Essence. I've tried a couple items from Essence, but it has never been like a go-to brand to where I would know it very well. So half of this video, I'm trying out new stuff. And the other half, I actually am showing you guys products that I really love. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So join the squad. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be really honest with you guys because I don't wanna lead you on. I have everything for a full face except foundation. I know that that's like a really big deal in a full face of makeup. I didn't wanna call this video trying out essence because it's literally a full face except foundation and it just didn't come in time so I figured why not just film the video? Uh, I will be using a drugstore foundation, but I will say, sometimes when you're trying out a new primer, a new foundation, new concealer, new powder, if something goes wrong, you don't really know which one did not work out for you. So I will be using a foundation that I love so that I can really truly test out the primer, concealer, powder, and all that jazz. So I hope that that's okay. I hope you still love me. I'm gonna put on the cat ears. Before we start out with primer, I just wanna put some lip balm on. If you follow my channel, you're probably tired of me talking about this, but this is a cute little thing that I love from Essence. This is the Essence Kiss the Black Sheep little lip balm. It looks black and it goes on pink. They do have different shades. I like this one and I like it because it is exactly what it says it is. It is a very good smelling lip balm and it does stain your lips pink. So even when it actually rubs off over time, your lips will still have this color. And for me, since I have very small lips, I like having some color to them so that they look a little bit more visible. Okay, back to primer. Okay, so for primer, I had three at the drugstore and all of them were poor minimizing, but one was matte, one was a um, redness corrector, like a green one, and then this one is the glow boosting one. So again, this is the glow boosting pore minimizing primer with pink clay. I'm not, you know, the biggest fan of pore minimizing luminizing primers because usually if a primer is luminizing, a lot of the times it's not really blurring pores because luminizer highlights things and they can also highlight pores. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more on the thicker side, but it's coming out like a cream. And by the way, it does have a squeezy tube. I like the scent. It's not super perfumey. It's just like a nice light scent. It's exactly what I thought. It's a really pretty actually luminizing primer. It didn't necessarily cover my pores, but it didn't emphasize them. But if you wanted to get this to like blur out or minimize your pores, I would probably try the matte one. I have never tried um, any other primer, but this one is giving me luminosity, but it's not, you know, emphasizing my pores, but it's also not covering them. So I do like this. I like this for those reasons, not, again, not to minimize your pores. So really quickly, I'm gonna put on my favorite foundation at the moment. It's the L'Oreal Fresh Wear, and it is in the shade 475. I'm gonna blend this out on my face and see how it looks over this primer and then see how well it wears with everything going on. This is a foundation blended out. Usually this is more of a satin kind of foundation. So as you guys can see, I do have that glow under from the primer. It looks very, very pretty. And like I said, it does look glowy, but without like so much emphasizing of pores, which is nice. So next we have concealer and this might go really, really wrong because the shade range is ridiculous. I'm gonna put it right here just to show you guys. The shade that I got is Light Honey and it's way too light and pink for me, but the next shade is almost a contour shade for me. So that's not good. That is not good, but I got it anyways um, to see if we can make it work because like I said, I really did wanna make this 99% uh, of a full face of Essence. This is the Camouflage Matte Concealer and I got in the shade 30 Light Honey. I really hope it works. Like I said, it might be too light for me. I really wanted to just to kind of test the coverage and the finish to see if the, you do have your shade, then maybe you would be able to use it. It does have a little tiny, like chubby triangle applicator. It's really, really small, but um, I'm not mad about it. So far, the consistency is like very um, thin and liquidy, but it seems like it has a lot of pigment. 
This claims to be an ultra covering liquid concealer with a matte finish, covers instantly dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos for long lasting and waterproofs. So right now, this concealer, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks very glowy. So obviously, um, it says that it's matte. So I hope it dries down matte. Uh, I think I'm going to add more, uh, like one more layer because right now it's giving me a light to medium, which is really odd because it says it's ultra covering liquid concealer. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Like I said, I look a little crazy because the shade is off, but let's just see what we can do with this concealer, just in case you can find your shade. I'm here for you. I'm here for you to figure it out if you need this or not. I find this concealer weird because it is not full coverage at all. And for it to say that it would cover tattoos is really odd to me because the consistency was very thin. And right now with a second layer, I got medium coverage. Definitely not full coverage. And so far, it is still looking really luminous. I will say, I didn't put a bunch of luminous primer under my eyes, so I think it's odd. It's like giving me the complete opposite of the claims. You know, it's there's just way, way better concealers at the drugstore. If you wanna know what the best concealers at the drugstore are, go right here. Um, I did a whole video showing you guys like on my face. So. I'm just gonna set my eyes and my face and continue with the makeup look. So this is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. They do have a banana brightening powder, but I didn't get that because I knew the concealer was gonna be way too light for me. So I wanted just to get something that would be translucent. I'm assuming this is translucent. It says this is an extremely smoothing fixing compact powder for matte and natural finish all day long. And it is just good as a finishing powder. It also says it's for all skin tones. So for that reason, I'm assuming that this is translucent. It doesn't actually say it's translucent, but I'm assuming. Dang, I hate being negative. This powder definitely made my under eyes look a lot ashier. So I don't think it's like completely translucent. Like I said, it doesn't say it is, but I really think that if you're very dark complexioned, um, I don't think this would look very good, I'm assuming. It didn't add like a blurring effect or like, I think that, I mean, it is what it is. It's just a matte powder. I don't get oily. I am more normal skin to dry. So I'm sorry, I won't be able to let you know like how it like, controls oils far i'm just not impressed uh very unfortunate but hopefully uh this video gets better because i don't think that you know if something is affordable it means that it's not good i love affordable makeups and i have a lot of high hopes for this so i think we should move on to the brows because i am looking freaking crazy so for brows i actually bought two separate products i bought like a pencil pen kind of deal and then the famous essence make me brows so i'm going to use this after first i want to test this out so this is called the essence the eyebrow pen semi-permanent pen and it is in the shade 03 medium brown. This is one of those like micro blading kind of pens. Um, so it's kind of like a three little marker pointy thing. Uh, fun fact, I do have micro blading. As you can see, like once I put on makeup, they do get a little bit lighter. So I do like to darken them up. So I'm excited to try this. It's just like one of those three pointed markers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to like mimic my microblading strokes and see what happens. Okay, so this is the difference between one and the other. Obviously, it's a very natural look and I like it, but the thing about this is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had to go on my hand a couple times because after you use it a couple times, the like the marker starts to lose the pigment. I like the way it looks, but it took me way longer than I wanted to. And also it kind of hurts because <laughs> this is like really pointy. So uh, I probably will never use this again. Um, I'm gonna do the other eyebrow real quick and then I wanna use the Make Me Brow. I know that everybody talks about the Make Me Brow, so I can't wait. I love, love, love Gimme Brow. I love tinted brow gel and I love the ones that have a tiny little brush 
because that's just what I prefer. So again, if you're not familiar with it, this is the Essence Make Me Brow, and I ended up getting the shade Brownie Brows. Uh, it's shade O2 Brownie Brows. Here is a shape of the brush. I definitely feel like when the brush is smaller, that's when you really can control the shape because you can almost outline it with the wand. So it is described as a three-in-one color fill and shape colored eyebrow gel with fibers for naturally fuller looking brows. So most of the time use tinted brow gels on my daily routine. Usually I do it before I go in with a pencil, but I wanted to give the marker a shot. So I'm gonna just try to fill in my eyebrows as much as I can with this. I like the product overall. It's a little bit more liquidy than the Benefit Gimme Brow, but it's still very pigmented. And as you guys can see, my eyebrows just look more shaped and filled in. I do love a good brow gel. Thumbs up, thumbs up for this one. So for bronzer, I'm actually really excited. I ended up picking up the bronzer palette. This is in the shade uh, 10, better than Vacation Tan and it does come with a mirror. So these are the shades. I thought that I could use this whole palette as bronzer and contour. So I'm going to contour again with this shade right here and maybe, maybe mix a little bit of the darkest one. Ooh, definitely pigmented. So it says that it has four matte bronzing shades to give your skin a healthy tan complexion each shade can be used alone or layered for a sun-kissed glow. Create a subtle warmth or contour. Skip the tanning salon. You just met your best friend. Hey, best friend. So it's definitely pigmented, but it's blending out really well. Like, I definitely think I went in with a hard hand right here. But I do see it blending out nicely. And now I'm going to go in with this shade to bronze. So this actually looks really nice. Um, I obviously think I still look crazy with my really bright under eyes, but I like these powders. They're just matte bronzers that are very pigmented, but they blend out really nice. Like this is why you wear high necks because you can just bronze your neck. People will never know that you're really this light. I like the packaging. It is cardboard. Again, it comes with a pretty nice mirror and it was only ten dollars for four bronzers so i give this a thumbs up and i'm just so excited that this video is going a lot better so for blush i actually already had this and i've had it for a while um to the point that where it broke but this is one of the nicest blushes from the drugstore in my opinion so this is the satin touch blush and i do have the shade 20 satin love on the back it says that it's a satin soft blush for a fresh looking complexion all day long um i actually love this this blush shade looks like very light for me but it ends up looking really beautiful um i like this the formula is beautiful uh it's not like super super powdery this will last you a long time and they're very inexpensive I do love a good satin blush, especially when you are using a bunch of matte products. This is just gonna bring your skin back to life. See how um, it's looking like a little bit more pinky on my skin. I really love it. That's why even though it's broken and it's very inexpensive, I still keep it because I think that this is a great, great blush, especially from the drugstore. I guess before doing um, highlight, let's just do some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I looked at a lot of their eyeshadow palettes and I just was not very impressed. A lot of the color stories I wasn't a big fan of and the ones that I was a big fan of, a lot of the shades were shimmer. There wasn't very much, there wasn't very many matte shades. So I just, I wasn't like a huge fan of them. And I'm on this thing where I just don't wanna waste money on products that I know I'm not gonna use for a fact, like I know for a fact I'm not gonna use. So I ended up picking up a single shadow that I'm very excited to try. And I'm gonna do the rest of the eye look with the bronzing palette. Uh-huh. So this is the Melted Chrome Shadow and this one's in the shade 08 Golden Crown. <gasps> oh my God, it is buttery. Look at this. This literally looks like my finger was like dipped in gold. Oh my God, beautiful. So I kind of wanted to do like a very bronze goddess kind of look and i thought like this with this bronzer palette would look gorgeous so i'm gonna quickly just try to make like a base for the shadow i'm just gonna contour the crease and add a little bit of depth and then i will go in with that shadow
Okay, so I think that for bronzer and a freaking little shadow, this looks ends up being really pretty. I definitely give these chrome shadows a thumbs up. It is buttery, it is pigmented, it is reflective. It looks really nice, wet or dry. Right? I mean, this is like a really beautiful, stunning shade. They do have a lot of, um, I think they have like four more shades were at CVS. I don't know about online, but um, I really like this. Thumbs up for that. Thumbs up for the bronzer, the blush. We are doing so good, finally. So let's move on to eyeliner, and it's also gonna be a good product because I've used it for years. I just bought a new one for this video, but guys, this is amazing. This is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. I have loved this for a very long time. Since I started my channel, I have been loving this. It is like, I believe it's under $3, and it is really, really good and the applicator is very long and thin and I just think it's awesome. So I'm going to do a wing and I will be right back. Oh man, um, this is weird. So I got my old one out and I noticed that the packaging looks just a little bit different. It's still the exact same product or so I thought, but for some reason, the old one, which is actually pretty crusty dusty, is a lot darker than the new one. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my liner is just not very jet black. It's more like a faded kind of color. And actually, now that I look at it, the old one has a longer point. So, man, you know, sometimes I don't like posting videos that are negative, but I feel like you know I have to. I know these aren't as fun to watch when uh, a lot of things aren't working out, but even though I want to tell you like what you should spend your money on, I also want to tell you what you shouldn't spend your money on. I'm going to tell you guys what my favorite liner from the drugstore is, and it is this one from Maybelline. Uh, I think this one is a lot nicer. It does have a brush tip application, and it's very pigmented. So I would skip out on that one and try this one. Like, can you see how nice and dark this is compared to this eye? Um, in person, it's very noticeable. I don't know if you guys can tell in video, but see how this liner just looks a lot nicer. And I noticed that this felt tip was skipping a lot. That's why I kept doing this. So I think maybe they reformulated it, which is kind of a shame because the original one was really good. So that is a thumbs down for me. Okay, so we won't be applying falsies today. I just figured I would try another one of their mascaras. I have tried the Princess Lash Effect mascara from them and it is amazing. And I've used it in a lot of videos. So I, ah! I just dropped it and I almost, ah! I just broke a nail. This video is just awesome. It is the I Love Extreme Curl and Volume Mascara. Guys, this wand is it's kind of scary. I feel like it would trigger a lot of people. <laughs> See this crazy looking mascara? Like what the heck is this? It looks like a monster. I didn't realize this mascara would be so, um, like the one would be so big, but it does have like a little spiky ball at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and I usually do about two coats. So I'm gonna go do that and see you know, if this is just as good as all the other ones. So I don't hate the mascara. I actually think it's not bad. It's not like amazing. It doesn't do the best job at like separating because this brush is so freaking crazy. It does give volume. Um, it actually does curl really nicely, but I do think that the princess one is a lot better. And also the brush is way too big and for me, like this is a big ass brush. Like I don't think I've ever used a brush this big and I like to do the inside of my lashes. That gives you like extra volume and with this is just not possible. So it's okay. Um, I do think that if you're gonna try mascara, I would get the Lash Princess one. It's really good. Okay, so now all we have left is highlight, setting spray, and lips. Uh, for highlight, I cannot wait tell you guys about this. If you watch my channel, you see it on almost every video, but this is the Pure Nude Sunlighter. They do have a highlighter that's a lot lighter than this. I get the sunlighter because this is like 
the perfect bronzy shade for me. This is like my perfect everyday highlight. It is not super intense. Like I said, it's a sun lighter, so it's just supposed to add glow to your skin without it being so intense. It's a baked highlighter powder. It's ultra smooth. And I kind of use it as just, I put it where I would put my highlighter. And then um, if I do want a more blinding highlight, I will still use this as a base and then just add a blending highlight on top because I think that this really flatters the skin. I feel like a lot of the times when you're using very blinding highlights, they just accentuate pores and textures and they look like very in your face. I think we should try the Melted Chrome Shadow as like an extreme highlight. See, you can totally use this to make your highlight more blinding. I definitely feel like this can be very versatile. So um, I've only tried this one and I'm obsessed with it. It's like my go-to every single day. So I think I'm gonna set my face and then let's do lips. I'll be using the You Better Work setting spray. It is gym proof, sweat resistant, anti-shine. With setting spray, I don't necessarily don't see the biggest difference unless it's like luminous or matte. This one is more just like sweat resistant to make your makeup last longer. I like it. It's not like, whoa, this is amazing, but it's good and it's affordable. And also it is only 1.69 fluid ounces. So this is really good for traveling. Oh, and by the way, for a little tiny bottle like this, the mist is really good. Like I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is very wide and very thin. And yeah, it just locks in your makeup and lets everything melt together. I've already had these and I bought a lip liner. So I have the Matte Matte Matte. That's so weird. Is that the name? Matte Matte Matte. Um, 03. This is the matte lipstick in 03. It is this really beautiful like mauve shade. And then I also have this um, Color Boost Matte About Matte. This is more like your liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade, this is 05 Dangerously Yours. And it's more of a bright pink. So I'm first gonna line my lips and kind of see what route I should go in. So I'll be using the Essence Stay Liner. This is in the shade 01 Because Duh. Because Duh. Wow, that applied so nicely. It is very pigmented, it is smooth. I really like this. I feel like I could put this all over my lips and it would look good. So this lip liner, very nice and very inexpensive. Here is the final result. So I feel like there was obviously a lot of disappointments in this video. So instead of telling you guys what I didn't like, I'm just going to tell you like what my favorite products are from Essence and what I realized that they are now. So um, lip liner, amazing. This shadow was amazing. The bronzing palette, so good. The blush, so good. The highlighter, so good. And I really did enjoy the eyebrow gel. You know, sometimes with these videos, when you're trying out so many products, not all of them can look really, really great. And obviously you also have different shades of things. So far, like I said, I enjoyed like half the products. I'm going to wear this makeup for about eight hours. So I will come back to you guys like always on my phone at nighttime before bed and tell you guys if my thoughts have changed about anything and also show you guys how, how well or how badly the makeup wore. So I will see you guys in eight hours. Hey guys, so it is nighttime, as you guys can see by my window. It has officially been an eight hour wear test and I just wanted to show you guys up close how the makeup's looking. Um, I actually haven't even retouched my lips, so this is like everything, I haven't retouched anything. Um, I stand with what I said at the end of the last clip. All those products that I mentioned were definitely my favorite and then um, the concealer, I feel like this, my iPhone is like making it look better than it looks. It doesn't look bad, but I would definitely not use it again, unfortunately. So yeah, all the other products that I talked about, I really did enjoy. So like always, everything will be listed down below. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.